day YouTube now here's the video you didn't ask for a comparison between Windows and Linux completely apples to oranges here now this is actually even worse because this is Windows 7 versus Ubuntu now why is Windows 7 so bad well it's actually not supported anymore if you're you're using Windows 7 at home stop using it because there's no security updates for it, okay? Great, great. Now, I think that's actually not 100% true. Uh, business enterprise environments have pushed out business uh, or security updates for it to allow it to use any longer, but you're probably not a business. So, hey, just switch, upgrade to Windows 10. Windows 11, hey, that's out now. But what's all this Windows talk about? This is a Linux channel. But hey, uh, the reason why you actually might compare these two is because we... Oh, whoa, nobody saw... Hey, 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 nobody saw that. Okay, okay, I'm going to continue this video. Don't say a word. Uh-oh. Anyway, where were we? Uh, the reason why you might compa uh, compare these two is because, hey, they're very lightweight uh, operating systems. Um, now, take for example... You the only reason why I use these operating systems these days is for maybe a web browser, an email client, even then, no security updates. Uh, but hey, you know what? This is the end of the video, almost. We're gonna have a look at the uh, the RAM usage and whatnot, because they are both lightweight. The way that, uh, 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 uh. Okay, I did not expect this. Now, CPU is uh, idle in a way on Ubuntu, nice to see. Windows. This is actually the reason why I moved away from Windows. It's breaking my heart. It just just doesn't know what it's doing. There, there's nothing to do but just... Like... Is there a virus on here? I don't even use this. Okay. Now, this is the highest amount of RAM I've seen on any... Like, it's, al it's almost as high as uh, Fedora. Look at this. No, sorry. It's higher than Fedora. Ooh, it's just jumping like crazy. I can't even keep up with the number. So, I'm going to choose the number right now. 1.2... Seven <laughs> gigabytes of RAM on boot up, so nothing's nothing's booted in the background, save, save for the operating system itself. So, what does Windows Seven offer these days? A chance for somebody to not think about their operating systems and just just don't use it, guys. I have probably said that seven times now, but hey, yeah, it it, it might actually support gaming, but um. Don't want to really, uh, leave yourself vulnerable to, to, to attacks on the internet. They call them zero day attacks when your uh, security or your yeah security updates aren't actually up to date, uh, or, or you're running just a, a stock version of an operating system with never having updated it in the first place. But um, yeah, the, these are both theoretically lightweight operating systems. I guess it's not so true for Windows anymore. I'm not sure what what he's doing. Th this was actually uh, I think it allowed as a minimum of five hundred. Or, or a gig of RAM, but I don't know. I don't know. Came out in like what 2006. Hmm. Whereas Ubuntu 21.10 came out only just a few weeks ago. All those updates that you would ever want. Hey, has uh, all the basic software that your mum and dad will use at least? Okay, so we've got uh, uh, Word, Excel, rip-off versions, but hey, still works great for me. Uh, Firefox, so web browsers, Chromium, Chrome, if you will, uh, mail clients, all the rest. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.